Did you know that a single Lego brick can withstand 950 pounds of pressure, and that 6 8 stud bricks can be combined in over 915 million ways? Lego isn't just a toy, it's a testament to human creativity, a tool that has shaped the minds of many and survived the tumultuous tides of the toy industry. But how did a tiny Danish company rise to such prominence? How did it navigate the path from wooden toys to plastic bricks, face down bankruptcy, and transform into a multi-billion dollar business? Buckle up as we unpack the gripping business story of LEGO. Thanks for knocking the rich door. In this video, we will deep dive into the captivating world of LEGO, a name that has enchanted generations of children and adults alike with its brightly colored bricks. In the heart of Denmark, during the turmoil of the Great Depression, a small wooden toy company began its journey. It would go on to transform the toy industry, revolutionizing how we play and create. However, this journey was far from smooth. Through its eight-decade history, LEGO has experienced towering highs and perilous lows. From near bankruptcy to staging an impressive corporate turnaround, LEGO's story is as multifaceted as the toys it produces. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be transported into the wonderful world of LEGO, as we uncover the building blocks of this extraordinary business story. To really understand the LEGO story, we must first delve into the roots of its inception. Picture this, it's the early 1930s, and we're in the small town of Billund, Denmark. A modest carpenter named Ole Kirk Christensen is struggling with the impact of the Great Depression, just like countless others worldwide. This economic crisis has severely hampered his carpentry business. But Christensen was not one to admit defeat. He decides to shift his business strategy, utilizing the offcuts from his carpentry work to produce small wooden toys, hoping to generate an alternate source of income. The toys were an instant hit among the local children. The success led Christensen to focus solely on crafting these playthings. And so, in 1934, he named his growing enterprise Lego, derived from the Danish words leg got, meaning play well. The name itself encapsulated Christensen's philosophy, the belief in the power of play and creativity. Even when materials were scarce during World War II, he never compromised on the quality of his toys. This ethos of only the best is good enough was not merely a slogan but the very backbone of LEGO. It fueled the company's innovation and set the stage for their subsequent success. So, from a small Danish town, battling through the Great Depression and the Second World War, the LEGO we know and love was born. It was built on resilience, quality, and the power of play. But, the best was yet to come, as we'll discover in our next segment. Let's delve deeper into the heart of LEGO's innovation. In 1947, the LEGO Group made a significant leap forward in its production technology. They purchased a plastic injection molding machine, an advanced technology for its time. LEGO started to experiment with this new machinery, initially creating plastic toys alongside their traditional wooden ones. However, the real breakthrough came in 1958. After a decade of experimenting and refining, LEGO finally patented the design of the interlocking LEGO brick, a simple yet ingenious design that was set to revolutionize the toy industry. What made this brick special wasn't just its ability to interlock, but the fact that it could be easily taken apart and reassembled. It was a design that fostered endless creativity, as children could build, unbuild, and rebuild, crafting new models every time. The real genius of the LEGO brick is the precision, even today, the manufacturing accuracy is as small as 0.002 mm. This precision ensures that bricks produced today can interlock perfectly with bricks produced decades ago. So, with the invention of this unique, interlocking brick, LEGO carved out its niche. It wasn't just about play anymore, but about building and creating transforming children into architects of their own worlds. From here, the small Danish company's journey was about to take off, and the world of toys would never be the same again. But as we know, with great innovation comes great challenges, and LEGO was no exception. With the invention of the LEGO brick behind them, the company now embarked on a new phase expansion. This was a period of rapid growth, innovation, and success. LEGO began to introduce themed sets in the early 1960s. These weren't just random assortments of bricks, they were carefully curated sets with a specific theme and purpose. Each themed set could be used to build a specific model, a castle, a spaceship, a town complete with detailed instructions. However, the true brilliance of these sets was that children were still encouraged to use the bricks to create their own unique designs. In the 1970s, LEGO took another step forward by launching the minifigure. This tiny, plastic figure with a painted-on smile became an integral part of the LEGO ecosystem. Adding minifigures to the mix enhanced the play experience. Children could now populate their brick-built worlds with characters, 
adding a layer of storytelling to their creative play. LEGO also smartly tapped into the power of licensing deals. Starting with the Star Wars franchise in 1999, they transformed popular culture icons into LEGO sets. These licensed sets were a hit. They attracted a whole new audience to LEGO, including fans of the franchises and adult collectors, thereby expanding LEGO's market reach. Lastly, LEGO ventured into the theme park business with the opening of Legoland Parks. The parks, filled with massive LEGO structures and interactive attractions, served as a physical testament to the brand's creativity and appeal. Through these strategies, themed sets, minifigures, licensing deals, and theme parks, LEGO saw a period of remarkable growth and prosperity. However, as we'll see, this rapid expansion also brought its share of challenges. The new millennium marked a critical turning point in the LEGO story, as the brand faced its biggest crisis to date. By the early 2000s, LEGO was in dire financial straits, reporting record losses. The company that had once been the darling of the toy industry was now facing potential bankruptcy. So, what led to this downturn? It was a combination of factors. The digital revolution and the advent of video games and the internet drastically changed the children's toy landscape. LEGO, like many traditional toy manufacturers, was struggling to compete in this new digital world. But the challenges didn't stop there. The company had also become overextended. In an effort to diversify, LEGO ventured into areas far from its core competency areas like clothing lines, video games, television networks, and even a theme park in America. While diversification can be a strong growth strategy, for LEGO, it was poorly executed. They lost focus on their core product, the LEGO brick. Lastly, a lack of internal controls led to ballooning costs. The company had an overwhelming number of different brick types in production, driving up manufacturing and storage costs. Combined, these issues left LEGO on the brink of bankruptcy. The future of the beloved brick was hanging in the balance. Yet, the LEGO story was far from over. As we'll see, the company was poised for a spectacular turnaround. Staring down bankruptcy, LEGO knew it was time for a radical overhaul. This period marked one of the most impressive turnarounds in corporate history. The first major step was appointing Jurgen Vig Nudstorp as the CEO in 2004. An outsider from the consulting firm McKinsey, Nudstorp brought a fresh perspective to the struggling company. Nudstorp began the turnaround with a major restructuring. He took the tough decision to cut nearly a third of the workforce and sell off assets, including the Legoland parks. Yet, cost-cutting alone wouldn't save LEGO. The company needed to get back to what it did best. And that meant refocusing on the core LEGO brick system. Nudstorp's strategy was simple, fewer pieces, fewer products, and more focus. He trimmed down the portfolio and re-established LEGO's core mission of encouraging imagination and creativity through play. Nudstorp also recognized the importance of the adult fan community. Initiatives like the LEGO Ideas platform, where fans could submit their own designs, helped rekindle the love and loyalty towards the brand. Under Nudstorp's leadership, LEGO also struck licensing gold. They signed deals with franchises like Harry Potter, Marvel, and Disney, creating a whole new realm of themed sets. This focus on the core product, coupled with cost-cutting measures and successful licensing deals, began to pay off. By 2005, LEGO was back in the black and has been profitable ever since. So, through innovation, strategic focus, and a clear understanding of its customers, LEGO staged a remarkable comeback. The story of its turnaround offers invaluable lessons to businesses everywhere. Now that we've navigated through LEGO's rise, fall, and spectacular recovery, let's take a step back and examine the legacy that LEGO has built over these decades. The LEGO Group is more than just a successful toy company. Its real triumph lies in the impact it has had on generations of children and adults alike. LEGO has not only created a product but a platform for imagination, a tool that encourages creativity, problem-solving, and storytelling. These are skills that transcend play and have real-world applications. In essence, LEGO has contributed to shaping the minds of future architects, engineers, artists, and thinkers. And this impact cannot be quantified. Additionally, LEGO's commitment to quality and sustainability is commendable. Despite their struggles, they have consistently strived to deliver high-quality, safe, and durable products. In recent years, LEGO has also pledged to make its products more sustainable. They aim to make all core products from sustainable materials by 2030, a testament to their responsibility towards the planet. The LEGO story is one of resilience, innovation, and a profound understanding of the power of play. It's a story that will continue to inspire and delight people all over the world, just as it has for over eight decades. From a small carpentry shop in Billund, Denmark, LEGO has built an enduring global legacy. 
A legacy that stands testament to the power of imagination and the infinite possibilities that can arise from a simple, yet versatile, plastic brick. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe for more business content.